So today we're making one of my favorite summertime meals. Baby back ribs. Yeah, so you can make them ahead if you're taking them to a tailgate party or, or camping. I often make them for the 4th of July, so I make them the day before and then just heat them on the grill, caramelize that yeah. sauce. You can go to the 4th of July parades without having to worry about coming home to a messy kitchen because yeah. it's all done. So I'm Barbara. And I'm Jen. And we are pressure cooking today. Um, our recipes are designed to work in any brand model of pressure cooker, electric pressure cooker. This is the Instant Pot Duo Nova. It's uh, one of my favorites. So let's get started. We're going to season the ribs with some salt and pepper. On our uh, website, we just use salt and pepper, but in the cookbook, I have a great homemade rub if you like that, but there's lots of great rubs on the market. Mm -hmm. And so now's the time to add that. Okay, so once you add that, are we ready to put it in? Yeah. So we put our water in first. I usually do that just because I forget if I haven't done it, so I make sure that it's in there right away. And we're gonna put them on a rack, which helps keep it out of the water. I really so like So it doesn't the rack. wash off your uh, rub. But if you don't have room for the rack, go ahead and you can skip it if you so, want. Since we're cooking in a six quart, we just use half a cup of water. Um, if you're cooking in an eight quart, you're gonna wanna use a whole cup. And the vegetables that we're adding, a stalk of celery and some onion, they'll help add flavor to your ribs. They'll also release liquid as they cook. So that'll be part of your liquid. Do you put them on top? I usually put the rack on top. Either way works, but then I think the rack sits better if it's... Um, That's true, it does. So you're just gonna stack your ribs. Um, we have sliced the, the ribs into three rib sections, which I think is easier to grill. Uh, if you wanted, you could coil the ribs. Some people it's like to easy. just not cut the rack and just coil it around. Either way works, but I like them in three rib sections so that when you're on the grill, if you have a hot spot on the grill, it's easy to move that piece around. So I like to kind of have them sticking up like that so that they don't cook like a thicker cut of meat. Now, you want to do your best to make sure that they, they're not all clumped together. Because if you do, just put them like one on top of each other. It's not going to cook like little thin ribs. It's going to cook like one big giant thing. And so you're going to have the ribs in the middle are going to be undercooked. So that's all there is to it. Go ahead and lock the lid in place. Always check your rings in place. Everything's pushed down nice and neat. But everything's in place on there good. Okay. <laughs> and then um, pressure cook. 15 minute cook time. 10 minute natural release. Okay, so we're going to release the pressure. Ah. Move the lid. Okay, these ribs are looking good. See how they've kind of pulled away from the bones a little bit? It's nice and tender. Looking really great. We like to put them on a cookie sheet. Um, it makes them easy to transport to the grill and it gives you a bigger space to work with. So oftentimes, um, when I pre-make these, I'll let them cool to room temperature, just like that, with no sauce on them. Mm -hmm. And then when you go to put them on the grill, um, you can warm them up on the grill first, yeah. and then add the sauce so that the sauce doesn't burn. Yeah. Kind of a medium-high grill works great, um, not too high, because you don't want to burn that sauce, you just want it to caramelize and get nice and yummy, gooey, sticky right? and yeah. delicious. Yeah, exactly. So let's take them out to the grill. Okay, so there they are. We're grilled up nice. Hot off the grill. My husband likes to cut them into individual ribs mm -hmm. so that they're it easy to easier. eat. Yeah. Um, but you could serve them in sections like this. It's really a, just a matter of preference. Yeah. Um, sharp knife for sectioning yeah. them up. And then, and then it's nice to serve it with extra sauce. My dad like <laughs> pools of sauce. So, um, it's yeah. perfect with potato salad. Mm -hmm. Anything that you've uh, got going on your summer. Potato chips. Yeah. Let's be honest, potato chips and grapes. It's a nice outdoor, <laughs> easy to go. We eat this camping quite a bit. We'll we'll cook them at home and then we'll finish them up. On, we've got a little road trip grill. We right, you can them. you can make them at home and then just caramelize them on the grill and it's awesome. So right. you're gonna love it. Yeah.